Hi everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. Happy Friday to everybody. And welcome back to our Halloween Memory Decks card series. I am so happy that you guys are back. And thank you everyone who made suggestions on my last video where I asked which stamps do you guys want to be featured in this week's Memory Decks card series. And a lot of you um, actually said uh, use the Recollections Halloween Mermaid stamp, this one right here. So I did, I did use this one. A few of you guys also said uh, use your Sassy Club stamps. And so I did and I used Jack Skellington here and he is dressed up as the Pumpkin King. So I used this one. I used this background scene here. I used zero. And then I also used uh, a couple of these. I used uh, the border stamp here that has the pumpkins and also the tombstones. So um, I also used some dies. And uh, the first one here, for my first Memory Dex card, I used, again, my Heidi Swap uh, Memory Dex card die, the smaller one right here. And then I also used a Alina Craft die, which is this one right here. And this one, I believe, is called a Seashell Frame die. Last die I used is this Anchors Away. That's what it's called and it's by Spellbinders and it's basically an anchor and it's a pretty good size anchor. I use this one right here. Let me share my very first one and it is this one right here. Of course I had to use Jack Skellington because he is one of my favorites for Halloween and as you can see here there is the background with the moon and um, I don't know, the night sky there. I don't know what the curly cue is. It's like a hill or something. <laughs> and I did color him up, my little Jackie here. And I used lots of my Copic markers. And these are all the colors that I used here. Um, for Jack, I actually used different orange colors. I used um, YR68 and YR04 um, and also I think I used a little bit of the yellow. It might have been this one right here, Y13. So anyway these are all <laughs> the Copic markers that I used and yeah now I, it's hard to do shading for me when it when they're like tiny um, images but you know I just tried my best and um, you know I'm a little out of practice like I said I've been neglecting my stamps so um, anyway I started out for the base um, I did on oh, the back looks like that isn't that cool um, I do have this digital paper that um, is striped so it's this fun um, black and white stripes and that's what I used and um, I actually used my punch to create my memory decks um, base because I wanted it to be uh, taller and bigger and so um, this is about four inches I think by five and a half and then I punched it out and then um, I also used like I mentioned the, um, the Heidi Swap you can see it right here, the other memory dex card, and I I used uh, black. That is actually part of this paper right here. And then, um, I, and then I just used my white, um, I think it's called Express It, if I'm not mistaken, the paper, because that's what I use for uh, coloring, for um, stamping my images and so I can blend with my Copic markers. So um, 
I'll leave the link. I don't remember if it is like ex explicit or not. It's been so long. Um, but anyway, I just inked up my edges with, again, with spiced marmalade and um, black soot. You can kind of tell a little bit up here. Um, this bat right here, that is again from Andrea Bethke. I love using this bat. It's like one of my favorite embellishment to use from her collection. And then I stamped out Pumpkin King and um, I just matted it on the striped paper and then glued that down. There's a little foam to kind of pop it up, but I also just kind of uh, hot glued it into shape. So, it kind of, you know, it's a nice banner. Put some bling there from Alina Craft. And then I fussy cut zero. I mean, everything is fussy cut, as you can see here. Um, and then here's my border, because I wanted him to be standing on some pumpkins, because he is the pumpkin king. But I also wanted um, a graveyard scene. And so I put the graveyard scene on the bottom here. And then I just used my Copic markers again to, um, and I did a little bit of shading. I don't know if you can see. Um, and then I also used some Wink of Stella, which kind of stained here. Um, yeah, I should have cleaned it before I tried to put some Wink of Stella on the moon. And you can't even tell. I can't even show you guys the shine, but there is a little bit of shine. And I also embossed the images, you guys. Sunglasses or, well, he, he looks like he's wearing sunglasses, but um, anyway, that's just his eyes. But as you can see, he's glossy because um, all my stamped images are um, embossed before I colored it, including this down here. So anyway, that's my first one. Oh, and then I um, put a hole here and put an eyelid, and then I do have, um, a dangle right here and this I had gotten on Etsy uh, I don't know a year or two ago maybe and then here's my bat uh, charm from Joann's I made the bow and then this is uh, a jack-o-lantern a scary one so I thought that looked really cute to just hang so that is my first memory dex card so there's Jack and then for my second one, that's where I used the mermaids. And so let me just show you. <laughs> it's very busy. I basically wanted it to be pink and black. Like it's kind of, it has this goth vibe to it. And that's kind of what I was going for. So, and then I kind of wanted the, the mermaids to kind of blend in there anyway, you know, with the net and everything. So um, I think I achieved that. So what I started off with was um, just some black uh, heavyweight cardstock. I used the uh, seashell uh, die from Alina Craft. And then um, when uh, you cut the, the inner layer, this one right here, um, I did um, pop out most of these but some I left inside I kind of wanted it to look like kind of like disintegrating or something so I didn't pop out all of the pieces so some of it's popped out and then I also put uh, a layer of this um, trim here this mesh trim that um, someone had gifted me I think um, one of my friends gave it to me as part of my package I think when they packaged my mail so I can't remember who, I don't remember if it was Erica, um, but one of my friends did, and I thought that mesh would look so good. I was gonna use one of my spider web, um, you know, but I wanted it to look like a net, and I thought um, this one looked so much more like it. And so I did cut this up, and I put it in certain places, um, like right here, sorry, I'm a little high, right here, and I put some here on this side. So there's like one, two on the, there's a one on the bottom here. So one, two, three, four, five strips, I think, in certain places. Um, it's kind of hard to tell now, but as you can see the background, you can tell where the netting is. Um, so basically I just wanted that for a, a background. I did ink up the edges as well with some black soot uh, distress um, ink and because I want it to look grungy. 
and then look at my mermaids don't they look so scary especially this one right here you can tell again it's glossy so the images are um, embossed again and you guys i just used my black ink um, my archival ink to stamp it and then i used this recollection so it's super fine clear embossing um, powder and that's how i embossed it and then i did pink uh, I colored her hair pink and then this one I colored it um, more of a she's a redhead so it's it's more of an orangey color and I only colored her bottom fin here pink because this one you know it's basically you're you're kind of just seeing her bones <laughs> and the rest is is you know the black ink so um, anyway I thought it looked really cool and um, I just put some starfish there and then also this um, and this I think I got from I can't remember it's either I think Amazon the little flat back starfish and then this one right here I believe that's from Hobby Lobby I think they're stickers is it from Hobby Lobby no I think someone gifted this to me maybe it could have been um, this mama loves Disney but i want to say i think hobby lobby had these stickers anyway oh, oh and then here um i also stamped the fish bones do you guys see that i thought it looked so cool and then also the broken heart the black broken heart right there and i put another block a uh, heart right there and then also the fish right there and then also this fish tail uh resin piece from my stash from Amazon I think and the anchor is is uh, I use this holographic paper um, from Joann's I think it's a small six by six paper pad so that's it that is my memory decks card share for this week please make sure you go check out the other ladies that's um, creating this week check out Sophia who is paper sweets um, she is uh, who I'm collaborating with and also check out our guest this week Jen um, strawberry creams 39 and uh, make sure you guys check out their channel I will leave their links in the description box and next week will be week 9 so I'm super excited and it's going to be October next week. So um, our prompt or our challenge next week will be something wicked. So basically make a memory dex card that is witch themed. All right. Okay, guys, we'll have another guest uh, next week. So you can check that out. Okay. Uh, thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful weekend. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.